Class, so far the uh, loop programs that we've been working with have been um, kind of goofy, I must admit it. Guilty as charged. We've been messing around with numbers, but we haven't been doing too much useful. Here's something a little different. This has some application that you might see some use in. In this particular case, we have a program that's going to start with a count uh, loop control variable having a value of 1. It's going to increment by 1. It's going to stop when the count gets to 12. So this is a loop that we know is going to cycle 12 times. What's it going to do in each case? It's going to output 7 times the value of count. It's going to output a 7 times table. Let's see it run. Here we go. And, and certainly we're not going to step through this one because it'll take too long. But Look, we get a 7 times table. I'm not sure if they still do this, but when I was in grade school, we used to have little notebooks, and on the backs of those notebooks, we had our multiplication tables so that we could study them. Well, there's your 7 times table all the way up to 7 times 12. Now, certainly we could put different numbers in here. We don't always have to make this the 7 times table. We could use other numbers. I would just like to take a look at this uh, uh, output because it's got rather tricky concatenation in it, as you can see here. Remember, when you concatenate, you've got to have a plus sign in between your strings and your variables all the way. So we have 7 plus, and then a string plus, variable plus, string plus, and then 7 times count. You can use an expression, uh, an arithmetic expression, the asterisk, of course, meaning multiplication. And that's, that's acceptable. Okay, now let's make this a little bit better. Let's make this not just good for the 7 times table. Let's make it work for other values. So what we need is an input. So I'm going to pop an input in right here. And for the prompt, we'll say, inside quotes of course, uh, we'll keep it really simple. We'll just say which table. And we'll use a variable named table. Everything else can stay the same except for the output here. All we need to do is change this output and everywhere where we had 7 before we're going to put the variable count in its place. So this will be table plus and then over here instead of 7 times count this will be table times count. Let's stretch that out a little bit so you can see that better. Okay, let's try it now. Now we should have an interactive program. I'll clear this up and we'll give it a run in compiled mode. And for which table? Uh, let's say we want the 8 times table. And there it is. We could clear it and run it again. We want the 9 times table. There it is, from 9 times 1 all the way up to 9 times 12. So loops can be very, very useful. And this is just one example, finally, of something practical.